Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn that how we can call a function on a button click. So these are some small steps that we are going to do in this video. First of all, we have to define a function. Then we will make a function and call this function on a button click, right? And after that, we will see that how we can pass the parameter on a function call and how we can call uh, properties in a function param also, right? So basically this is a very small video but very important because with this video you are able to perform the click events and functioning and all right. So now let's get started. First of all uh, when you are just calling a function on a button click or any other event the both things should be defined in the same component. Uh, what is the meaning of the same component? So I will just show you button should be defined inside the app.component.html file then your function should be defined in the app.component.ts because the both are a app component right so if you have another component then the both should be defined in the same component already so first of all let's just going to make a function inside the app.component.ts file so just write here get name and here i can just make alert like uh, Anil Sidhu which is my name right so I just want to call it on a button click so let's make a button here right and just write here get my name yep so here you can see that we got a button but there is a no event and nothing is happening on this call so now we can just define a click event so for that we will use the basis I click and then uh, as in string we can call a function so our function name is get name right as you know we define this here great so now let's try to call it yep so let's clear the console and just click on it now you can see that it got my name and it's into here perfect there is a no issue so now let's see that how we can pass some data from here from as a function parameter so I just want to send some data like uh, uh, Tony right I just send some data like Tony so will it work when I'm just going to put here name and I'm just going to put here name like this no actually this is not going to work because it understand that Tony is a property or as a variable right so we have to put it in a uh, single quotes and if we have single quotes here then we can just put it in the double quotes perfect so now let's try to call it Tony is working fine so we just got that uh, define function how we can uh, just call a function on a button click and with the params also right so now let's say uh, as I told you uh, if I did not put here uh, Uh, single quotes then it will understand is it as an uh, uh, property right so what should be display on a click it will just uh, tell us this is undefined right why this is undefined because this variable or property is not defined here anywhere right so let's say just change it in some meaningful name like uh, my name right and I'm just going to define my name here because we can define the properties only in the component.ts file so just write here my name and just put here Bruce right so now this property will go in this parameter right because there is a no quotes now so it will just understand this is a property and when we just click it it will just understand the Bruce and it will just give the output so this is the way that how we can call a function on a button click with the parameters without parameters and all and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in the next video we will learn that some important uh, events like hover mouse over enter tab in the angle right so stay tuned with us and please subscribe our channel